Hey guys, I've been asked a lot of questions about the air ride on this car and while the wheels are off and it's a powder coater, I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of show you how everything's installed. I'm hoping to answer some of the questions um, for everyone that is trying to bag their own dart currently. Um, here is kind of a view of the front installed. Um, you can see that the airline runs out of the back side of the bag and just makes a loop um, and goes back up inside there. That's what this, well, you can't really tell because it's so dirty, but I've got a blue line over top of it to protect it. Um, it just comes out of the back of the bag and makes a U-shape back up inside the engine bay. Um, that's done the same on both sides. Um, we opted for the camber plates, um, which eliminates this ring here um, where the factory uh, struts hooked on. You have to drill these three holes. There's a third one back here um, behind this strut tower brace, but you have to drill the three holes. I have a video um, on YouTube on our channel that explains this more in depth of how to install that. A lot of the questions involve the back. Um, I, I believe the bags have changed a little bit or, or a little bit um, since then, but this actually sets flush here when there's weight on the car. Um, this cup here goes inside the cup on the bag. Um, I've ran this airline um, up behind this and it makes a big loop and goes inside the trunk through a hole and a grommet that I put in The bottom of the bag um, I believe they have a cup on them now, but there was a half moon on this bottom brace here that um, Was keeping the bag from sitting flush. I had to cut that off um, I'll try to show you then I ran a bolt through the bottom into the threaded hole in the bag itself. Um, also, a lot of the questions stem from the struts and how to uh, determine the length of the strut. What I did was I put the bag on first um, with no, no air in the bag, obviously. I jacked up the spindle as far as it would go inside, threading the shock shorter and shorter until the bag would completely bottom out. Um, then I went about a, a half or three quarter of an inch shorter than that so that the shock wasn't bottomed out completely when it was sitting on the ground. But then when you're at ride height, you still have plenty of travel in both directions so that you don't hear the shock knocking. And then the last question I get a lot is where I ran the airlines. Um, and where I ran the power wires. I ran all the power wires um, down the driver's side, below the kick panels inside the door. Uh, all the air lines for the front run up the passenger side. Um, there is a chance, if you pull all the plastic kick panels inside the door off, there is a, um, and what I'm talking about is, it's hard to see in here, but um, below the doors, down here if you pop these plastic panels off um, there's a channel that you can actually get the airlines through on this side and then same thing with the power wires on the driver's side um, we made this custom carbon fiber panel to set in here in order to mount our air ride controller um, but that does not have to be hard mounted you can simply handheld that as or mount it wherever you see a lot of people I've seen use a cell phone mount on the dash just to hold it when they're not using it. Then behind our seat, you, you can see here, that airline is actually going to the back bag. Um, also, there's an airline that comes over to this driver's side rear for the air to dump out outside so you don't have to worry about any moisture dumping inside your car. Um, as well as these lines over here, one goes to the passenger side rear, the other two run up that kick panel I was talking about, which is, which is this panel here 
under both doors. Um, those airlines run to the front up the passenger side. Um, as well as I have a water trap between the tank and the uh, valve body in the trunk. Uh, the steel braided lines are obviously from each compressor. Um, this curled line here just runs from the bottom of the water trap so I can stick it out this door um, when I want to open the water trap. This here is our current trunk setup. Um, you can see the other side of the curtain that I have hiding all the lines. Um, and this is the valve body here from Airlift that uh, the water trap is between this valve body and the tank. Um, also behind a curtain are all the relays um, and the wiring for the compressors that come in the kit. Um, I hope this answers a lot of questions. If you like these videos, continue to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.